one thing, I mean, where, where the industry is often just shown a great instance insensitivity to the African-American audiences as the use of white performers in blackface. You are blue, you are blue, you live by the round of you blue. You can see the movie Check and Double Check, which comes out in 1930, and in that we see the stars of Amos and Andy, and Amos and Andy for a famous successful radio show, and the creators of Amos and Andy, um, Freeman Gosden and Charles Correll, they were white, and on the radio we got vocal blackface. Tell you right now, Andy, I can't fix the thing by myself. Well, Amos, I done wore myself out. Now I gotta sit here and unlax. So they speak the way they believe African Americans do with these dialects, the broken English and so forth. They bring that uh, to the movies in check and double check and they are in blackface throughout. Emma, don't never do that no more. Well I ain't hit nothing yet, is I know, but you ain't gotta graze everything, is you? In one sequence, Duke Ellington's orchestra comes on and you breathe a sigh of relief in a way that here's real black artistry. When you talk about white people and blackface, let's not just talk about Amos and Andy. Let's talk about some of our great icons. Eddie Cantor, Fred Astaire, Al Jolson. I'd walk a million miles for one of your smiles for my man I mean, you look at, at Jolson and, and Jazz Singer, I mean, this groundbreaking movie, and um, African Americans have to watch him up there, in, you know, in blackface and, and, and with his black wig on and the ring around his mouth, the exaggerated movements and so forth. And uh, granted, in that film, he's, he's not playing a black character, he's going in, he's, it's a Jewish character who goes in blackface, but as you see it show up in other movies, Babes in Arm, Mickey Rooney and, and Judy Garland, and um, poor little Shirley Temple at one point goes in blackface. Come here, you. She's not playing a black character. She's disguised her. Pull off these boots. And you just uh, wonder how the studios could let this happen. Well, you little black rascal. So you can see a whole bunch of Hollywood actors who once the soot got on their faces, they became caricatures, stereotypes. But the industry does it, and you just wonder, don't they ever think about the, the people out there who take great offense at this? And wouldn't you want your movies to be inclusive, all-inclusive, and not to alienate or abuse an audience? Hollywood has come a long way from a time when racial inequality paraded its ugly face on screen. But we still have a lot to learn and we're highlighting the history of this issue with our May Spotlight Race and Hollywood Black Images on Film. This month on Turner Classic Movies.